Can't start it without coffee. Can't start it without coffee. My top essentials for the iPad Pro 2018 model. I do not have the 2020 version, unfortunately, but the 2018 version has gotten me just fine. I wanna show you some of the items that I carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis in order for this iPad Pro to become an essential piece in my day-to-day -day workflow. But before we start this video, I wanna let you guys know that this video is being sponsored by Webroot. Webroot has a application called Wi-Fi Security that is actually a VPN that I use. This holiday season, if you guys are actually gonna be shopping, going on online and getting something for your loved ones, then I would definitely recommend going on a VPN and making sure that your shopping and all your credit card info is secure and you are protected from any sort of theft and don't have anything to worry about when it comes to shopping as much as we do now. Especially with the times that we're in, we're gonna be doing a lot of online shopping, a lot of e-commerce. So make sure that when you guys are online that you are protected, you're underneath the tunnel. Go check out Webroot Wi-Fi Security. If you guys want to have a VPN, you're able to download this both on Mac, Windows, as well as iOS and Android. So all your devices are protected all at one time under one account. You can check out some of their pricing plans if you guys want. I've been using them pretty much this whole year anytime that I need to be on a VPN. And it's very, very simple setup, very, very simple connection. I can select from many different servers that are out there. So definitely check out Webroot Wi-Fi Security if you guys are gonna be doing a lot of shopping this season and stay protected. Now let's get to the video. The Apple Magic Keyboard is going to be the first accessory that I have on a day-to-day -day basis and it's absolutely changed the game for me as far as how I use my iPad Pro. The iPad Pro now literally feels like an iPad with the little magnetic levitating design here. It's an amazing design. I just can't, I can't get over it. The keyboard on it is great. It's got scissor switches, so the keyboard feels fantastic. It's not that old butterfly switch that people go to. It's got a built-in trackpad. Everything is powered by the smart connector on the backside of the iPad. The iPad powers the actual case itself and I even get a pass-through on the side here for additional charging it doesn't charge as fast as let's say the actual built-in USB-C port on the iPad Pro but it's nice to have something where I can just tuck away a cable and not see it anymore this also has a caveat to it where this is only for charging so I can't actually plug in let's say an SD card reader on the side and charge it as well here either way it doesn't really matter you know it's nice to have this port here and I can always just plug in my accessories here as well this this right here has been an absolute essential for me when it comes to making my iPad Pro feel and give that laptop experience. Second essential is going to be the Apple Pencil 2. The Apple Pencil has been an absolute godsend for me and I love this thing. Like it literally makes my iPad so much better when it comes to taking notes. Like let's say when I'm taking a course for software development, it's easy for me to just jot down notes with this thing. I can literally just draw whatever I want. I use Use Notability for my note taking app and you know alongside with this as well as photo editing photo editing on the iPad Pro if you have an Apple pencil is fantastic I've also edited some videos as well using LumaFusion with the Apple pencil and it just turns the experience of the iPad Pro to a whole nother level so if you have an iPad Pro anything above the 2018 model you need to get an Apple pencil there are some alternative versions but there's nothing like it nothing that can just like really resemble the power and the feel of the the Apple Pencil. Like I said, I edit videos, I edit photos on the iPad Pro, so the second one is going to be an SD card reader. USB-C to SD card, and this one is gonna be from Satechi. They kindly sent this out to me a little bit ago, and I've been using it ever since. It's a nice little minimal dongle. I mean, it's very simple. Just plug it onto the side, insert an SD card reader, and you're good to go. And with, you know, with the new iPad OS that came out midway through the year, or very early on in the year, it was very easy to just drag and drop files over into the file system of the iPad, and it was easy to import photos or videos over into Lightroom or LumaFusion and then just get straight to work. To go on top of that with the SD card reader is going to be my drive of choice. So usually I go for Lacy external drives or Lacy, 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 whatever you pronounce that. This right here is a four terabyte external USB-C drive. This isn't Thunderbolt. I usually always carry this. They're rugged drives, so you can literally just drop these things and you won't have to worry about losing your data or the drive going bad. I haven't had any of these go bad on me yet and I plan on purchasing way, way more. So Lacy, if you're watching this, 
I'm waiting. I'm waiting. But always carry these around me, plug it in on the side, and if I need to edit some photos or if I need to work on some videos, just go off on this external drive, edit it. I'm off to the races. It's not slow by any means. It's always super, super fast. I don't need to worry about that. I also edit all my videos off that thing on my MacBook and my Mac mini, so I'm always carrying an external drive with me. Speaking of carrying, the last two essentials, this little awesome leather sleeve from Harbor London. They kindly sent this out to me to try out and I've been absolutely loving this thing. The, as you know, the iPad Pro does not, you know, really protect the iPad fully, right? Off on the side, there you, the, the Apple Pencil is exposed and the corners are also somewhat exposed and also it's pretty heavy. So, you know, you never know when the Apple Pencil is gonna fall off or how, how much it's gonna move around in your bag. Having this right here has been an awesome addition to the setup and carrying the iPad Pro around, it's one less thing to worry about when it's inside your bag. One less thing to worry about, one less thing to worry about. Literally, it opens up through a magnetic flap right here, which is cool. And inside, there is actually a slot to put your Apple Pencil in so you don't have to worry about it. It fits with the Apple Magic Keyboard in there. I don't have to worry about it fitting. And then there's even an open slot on the bottom here for you to charge your iPad when, let's just say, it's sitting on the side of your desk and you need to charge it. So let's say if you don't have the Apple Magic Keyboard and you just wanted to prop this up as a stand, this sleeve right here absolutely allows you to do that and has a really nice angle to it so if you wanted to work off of it you absolutely could do that which is an awesome addition to the sleeves and just add some versatility to it plus it just looks amazing with the leather like come on over time it's just gonna look even better don't gotta worry about that anytime I travel anymore with this sleeve last essential that is on the list that I can't ever leave home with just because I have so many devices is going to be a power bank this right here is an anchor power core slim 10,000 PD or power delivery also branded by D brand skins they're not sponsored in this video, but I actually won a giveaway from D brand a couple months ago and they sent this out to me and I was like, okay, like this is a really, really cool, like robot skinned power core. But I always have this on me anytime I need to charge my iPad. It charges pretty, pretty fast. Has a power indicator at the top here. So if you press the button, you know how much the charge has on the power bank. Very, very slim profile and very, very lightweight. It's got 10,000 milliamps. So I don't ever have to worry about, you know, my iPhone or my iPad going out of battery. If I'm low on charge, just prop this thing out not hard to carry it all and I'm I'm ready to go you know it's got USB-C it's got USB-A so whatever devices I need charged this thing has me covered and that's going to do it for my top essentials for my iPad Pro I hope that helped you guys kind of see what I use on a day-to-day -day basis and maybe might give you some insight as to what you might want to add to your day-to-day -day essentials for your iPad Pro or just any accessories you want you may want to buy for someone that has one those are some gift ideas hopefully that helped out if you guys like this video hit the like button comment and subscribe if you guys want to support the channel but other than that I will see you guys on the next video peace out